Good evening, people in standard definition. Please state your names for the ladies and gentlemen of the audience. Uh, my name is Yannick. Yannick. And your name, young lady? Elodie. Elodie. Yes. Your nationality? French. French. Your nationality? French. I see. <laughs> Could you please state where you live? Uh, in France. France? <laughs> Which part of France? Uh, Le Mans. Le Mans? Maybe you know the race car, Les 24 Heures du Mans. The 24 Hours of Le Mans. Oui. <laughs> oui, I do. Good. And you, young lady? I live in south of France and also here, so... The I south of France and here in California? Yeah. Are you wealthy? <laughs> wait, 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 hang on. Move on. Yeah. No. Start again. You live in France and California? Yes. Uh, what do you do for a living? <laughs> uh, right now, I'm trying to be an actress. Ah, yes. And you yeah. trying to be an actress also? No. <laughs> A computer trainer. Computer trainer? Yeah. I see. <laughs> now let me ask you, do either of you know the late night phenomenon in France known as Artur Essebag? Oh. <laughs> Artur! Ce soir avec Artur! Yeah, but I don't like him. You don't like Artur? I apologize, but I don't lie. I'm not American. Uh, so hey! I, no, I, I, I want to say I'm not from Hollywood. You're not from Hollywood? Ah, yes. Yes, no, we do lie in Hollywood. I see where you're going. Yeah, yeah. Do you, uh, are you familiar with Artur? No, I'm not. I see. <laughs> but you are wealthy. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Well, this is nice. I feel that the... The spirit of international cooperation is, is advanced somewhat by our three-way discussion this evening. <laughs> so are you, uh, have you met before now? No, no. never. <laughs> well, you've got something in common though, haven't you? <laughs> You're French. Yeah. yeah. Perhaps you could go for one of those tiny little cups of coffee or something. Maybe. <laughs> it's okay for me. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, sure. Yeah. I'd... Thanks for me. Well, there you are. Then. <laughs> this is just the kind of international cooperation and friendship that CBS wants to promote. <laughs> CBS. CBS cares. We'll be right back, everybody. The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by the U.S. Postal Service. Very convincing, everybody. Please sit down, relax. You've done your job for the night. Let me take over. <laughs> Let me do the phony noise making from now on. <laughs> hey, guess what? <laughs> what? 
I'll tell you, breathy, creepy sort of pervert man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't concentrate. I'll tell you the, the, the honest truth. I'll tell you what happened. Just before I came out, I was talking to Chris, the sound man, and he told me that he was walking through Santa Monica the other day at night and he saw two hobos having sex. <laughs> And I said, heterosexual sex, homosexual sex. He said, didn't get that close. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I gotta go to work. And he's like, well, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. It's a great day for America. Although, although it's a great day for America, though, not not such a great day for Egypt. Despite the massive protest, the Egyptian president is still refusing to leave. They're calling him Leno of the Nile. <laughs> uh, apparently this guy Mubarak, he might be the richest man in the world. He, have, he has assets of 70 billion dollars. 70 billion! That's almost as much as Oprah's half-sister. <laughs> Uh, it's not such a great day for a uh, congressman from New York who had to resign last night. You know, it's the old story, boy meets girl, boy sends girl sexy pictures over the internet, girl sends sexy pictures to the media, boy's wife finds out. Social experts refer to this phenomenon as pulling a favre. <laughs> politician is forced to quit like this, it's always a terrible shame for his family, of course, it's embarrassing and upsetting for his constituents, it's, uh, it's very annoying, and, uh, but it's not bad for me at all, actually. <laughs> this is the kind of story that puts a, a spring in my step and a fire in my ass. It's the... <laughs> to me, this is like witnessing hobo sex. It's the... So I don't have to come out here and pretend to be excited about Lithuanian independence day or a new species of lizard. <laughs> They got something to say. Well, anyway, the, the congressman is named Christopher Lee. Do we have a picture of Christopher Lee? Oh, come on. That's <laughs> <laughs> ah, Christopher Lee, the actor. He's the evil wizard in Lord of the Rings. What's his name? Uh, uh, Drachman or something. What's his name again? I don't know. Oprah? Anyway. Yeah, Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> I look forward to your letters. Anyway, uh, no, a picture of Christopher Lee, the congressman. Where are you? There he is, yeah. Um, he's a handsome man, actually. He looks a, you, he looks a bit like Pat Sajak. Let me see him. Yeah. Yeah, he looks a bit like Pat, and he tried to buy a vowel on Craigslist. <laughs> and, and that vowel was, oh. Here's what happened. The congressman went on Craigslist looking for a sex partner. Now, what's shocking was it was a congressman, and the sex partner he was looking for was a woman. And... <laughs> He lied about his age. Now, personally, I find that appalling, but maybe I'll feel different when I turn 30. Who knows? But they... <laughs> he also lied about his marital status. He said he was divorced, which he's not. Yet. <laughs> now, the line was his first mistake. The second mistake was sending the woman this picture. Me? <sighs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, I don't know much about this man's voting record or his political beliefs, but he's clearly in favour of the right to bear arms. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that Congressman Lee is a Republican, so today, in a spirit of bipartisanship, both members of the House of Congress, uh, both, uh, both sides, they, they come together uh, to say, Ew. <laughs> it's nice to see everyone putting, you know, party politics aside and just going, Oh, for God's sake. Apparently the photo was taken with a cell phone. Now, I would never do that. All my shirtless photos are taken professionally at the mall. <laughs> Here's me with no shirt during the Wild West period. <laughs> now, there's a lesson for, uh, here for you ladies. Never trust a man who takes too long in the bathroom. If they're not shaving or showering or pooping, they're up to no good in there. <laughs> He looked good at, without his shirt on, though. Can I see that again? Yeah, look at that. He's not in bad shape. The only thing missing is the gold chain. 
He should get, he should get Lindsay Lohan to steal him one. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Innocent until proven guilty. Innocent until proven guilty. He should get Lindsay Lohan to steal him one. <laughs> Craig, come on, I know. Anyway, uh, today I bet that congressman is saying, boy, I screwed up. But politicians have got such huge egos. You know there's a part of them saying, damn, that looked good. <laughs> I mean, my career's over, but come on. <laughs> I love following this story like this on the news because it's been reported from many different angles. MSNBC, that you know, leans very far to the left, they said, married Republican trolling for internet for sex. And uh, Fox News said, uh, congressman displays body toned by patriotism. <laughs> <laughs> the Bravo Network are just like, eh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, I've heard people say, oh, come on, Greg, this guy's a politician. It's not our business where he puts his pee-pee. And I agree. <laughs> but he did, and I checked, he voted against the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. So clearly he's worried about where other people put their pee-pees. <laughs> but that's not the issue. I'm glad he resigned. Not because he was trying to hook up, as the kids say. I am glad this guy resigned because he is clearly an idiot. <laughs> or his sexual preferences, this man is an idiot. He doesn't know how the internet works. I'll just put a naked picture up. What could possibly happen? Are you mad? What the hell is wrong with you? If you're a public figure and you want to have an online affair, you don't use your regular email address. If you send out pictures of your naked body, you cover your face. You, if you do that, you can show your genitals to the entire world. Just wear a ski mask or leave a little hat cocked over your eyes. Cover up any distinctive tattoos. <laughs> Perhaps I've said too much. I think it's commercial break time, Jeff. Commercials, educational and fun. <laughs> No, I, I think you're lying. Uh, I think they're just for money. CBS cares. <laughs> About money. We'll be right back. Je m'appelle Craig, c'est tout. <laughs> You're welcome to people in the audience. <laughs> Tweet. <laughs> All right. Chicken Vindaloo is good to eat. My name is Scooter. I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you call tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than Mahatma Gandhi. And emails. I All right, this is, uh, this is from Shannon in Beaver Creek in Ohio. <laughs> Do you know that Beaver Creek is home to the oldest strip club in America? <laughs> All right, uh, Shannon says, uh, Dear Craig, my seven-year-old daughter shouts, Daddy, when we watch your show. It's not legally binding in any way. It's turning into Maury Povich, this show. All right, this is uh, from Jason in Cranston in Rhode Island. It says, Dear Craig, it's the one year anniversary of you reading my email on the air. How should I celebrate? <laughs> Get yourself over to Beaver Creek. <laughs> Uh, 
This is from Greg in Baton Rouge in Louisiana. If you don't speak uh, French, by the way, Baton Rouge means a red stick. <laughs> Merci beaucoup, mon ami. Uh, uh, he says, hey, Craig, my girlfriend wants to meet my parents, but I don't know, but I know they won't approve of her. What should I do? Now, why not grow a pair of testicles there, Greg? <laughs> you could just uh, check your pants. If you've got some balls there, you could, uh, you could say, hey, this is my girlfriend. Like her, don't like her, really doesn't matter to me. <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, this is from Beth in Tampa in Florida, uh, who says, uh, Hi, Craig, I've been summoned for jury duty next week, and I really hope I get picked for a trial. Is this weird? No! I, it's your civic duty to serve on a duty. Whenever I get called for jury duty, how I... <laughs> How I make sure I'm part of the jury, I'll go, I'll say, could you feel you can be impartial in this trial? And I'm like, yeah! 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 And they're like, yeah, you, you're excused. CBS cares. All right, this is from Janet in Arlington in Texas, who says, uh, hey, Craig, do you think it's possible for an inanimate object to be possessed? <laughs> nah, I don't think so. You'd have to have some kind of maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I believe in possession, but then again, I might. I don't know. <laughs> what happened there? I blacked out for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'm going to get into trouble for that. All right. All right, this is from Roger in Sydney, Australia. Or it might be from Sydney in Roger, Australia. I'm not entirely sure. No one's ever done that joke about Sydney. Uh, Roger says, good day, Craig. I told you he was Australian, didn't I? He says... <laughs> Good night, Craig. My girlfriend's one of those jealous types who gets super angry when she sees me hanging around the school with my friends. What should I do? <laughs> well, mate, you want to grow what we call in America a pair of testicles. <laughs> Come on, man. You're from Crocodile Dundee country. You're from the man from Snowy River country. You're out back, man. You're a Cobra wearing cowboys. You tamed that man hot desert and turned it into the lucky country. At least you can do is stand next to your... Crikey dingo. Girlfriend! <laughs> we'll be right back. CBS Kids. <laughs> oh. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to... Uh, what is this? Uh, welcome Oprah? back... Oprah? Yeah, Oprah. Yeah. Welcome back to Oprah. You're really high now, aren't you? Uh, my first guest tonight is in a new show called Chicago Code, which I think is uh, a show that takes place in Chicago. <laughs> It's on Mondays on the Fox Network. Take a look at that. Please welcome Jennifer Beals, everybody. Jennifer Beals. Look at you. I have to say, Jennifer, lovely as it is to see you, and it is, and you do look absolutely charming and gorgeous and sexy, and I like this metal thing going on here. <laughs> I'm surprised to see you uh, uh, hit somebody, because I think of you as being a rather kind of shy person. I am. I am a shy person, but I did grow up with brothers, so, I you see. know, I have acquired a few skills. Did, did you actually hit your brothers, then? Is that what you're saying? Because CBS well, in no way endorses that kind of behavior. <laughs> 
I did um, actually hit a I don't even know if I should say this. Oh, you should. No one watches this show. You'll be fine. No. <laughs> I did actually hit a boyfriend with a camera once. That's yeah. okay. He was very badly behaved, I have to say. But it was on a, a, a train station in Morocco, which maybe was not the best. Wait, this is a great story. <laughs> so, first of all, you've got this boyfriend, and you uh, he's taking pictures of you. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Then what's the camera for? It's my camera to, oh, you know, it? document the trip and all. Oh, uh, in Morocco? Yes. Right, and where were you in Morocco? Uh, Tangier? Mar Marrakesh, Casablanca. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of French people up and down there. Oui, you know oui, that? Yeah, sûr. yeah. <laughs> you speak French? Uh, pas bien. No. Pas bien. No, right. Tu peux essayer, si tu veux. Oh, yeah, see, you got me right there. <laughs> There's a couple of people, a girl from the valley who probably helped you out, though she speaks. Um, <laughs> Do you know, if I had a nickel for every time I'd said that sentence, there's a girl from the valley. <laughs> now, listen, tell me about the Chicago Code, then. Do you play our tough cop I'm who... sorry, I'm very distracted by this. <laughs> this is fantastic. Do you know, you I was, you I was bitten anything, by a rattlesnake. Touch it again if you want. There you go. Oh, you know how to hold it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Okay. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Nice. Just nice. cup underneath. There you are. <laughs> now, are you fond of snakes? <laughs> Actually, I am fond of snakes. Really? I was bitten by a rattlesnake, though. Shut the hell up! I was. You were bit by a snake? Yes, I was. Recently? Mm, a while ago, but on my foot. On my foot. And it was like you being stabbed by two safety pins. Uh, are you all right? Yeah. What I'm, kind of a snake I'm, was it? I'm fine. It was, I don't know which kind of rattlesnake it was. It was a rattlesnake? Yes, it well, was a rattlesnake. why didn't you avoid it when you heard the rattling? Well, because it was a baby, and so the rattle's very quiet. Oh, so you were just kind of like... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah did exactly. you get sick? Uh, I did, actually. Well, first I had the swelling, and I, I took some Arnica, which is this homeopathic medicine for the swelling, and that went away. Right. And then uh, my husband and I were driving in the car, and I felt myself outside of the car watching myself, and I was realizing that I wasn't breathing, and I didn't need to breathe. What? And it was very strange. Ooh, this so is I, acid you're talking about yeah. right now. <laughs> And so I, I said, I think I need to go to the hospital. So we went to the hospital where they did nothing. It was amazing. <laughs> How much did they charge you for that <laughs> yeah, nothing? Exactly. Wow. Yeah. So, and you, well, you, were, you had an out-of-body experience from a rattlesnake I bite? did. It was not unpleasant, I have to say. It was not unpleasant. <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> That's, I, I, so I can imagine then snakes, so I'll put this out of the way then. Are you, okay. are you, are you frightened by snakes? No, 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 not at all, no. Well, do you like snakes? Though? Yeah, I do, I do like snakes. Do you have any snakes? I don't, I don't, but I, I do like them. Oh, really? I you do. like them, but not enough to have one. No, but I like to pet them, and actually their tongues are very soft. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> In your pants. Hey. So tell me about the Chicago Code then. You play out. Okay. Yo, you, do, do you make it in Chicago? That looked a bit yes, like Chicago yes, there. Yes, it's completely Are you Chicago. from Chicago? Yes, I am. No way! Yes. I didn't know they had rattlesnakes in Chicago. No, I didn't get bitten in oh, Chicago. Right. No, right. Well, what kind of snakes do they have in Chicago? Oh, political. political. Oh. <laughs> what part of Chicago are you from? Well, I, I both the north side and the south side, so it's both Cubs and Sox. So you're kind of family. bi curious. Yes. And <laughs> Do you know? Have you ever met Oprah? I have actually. Really? Yeah. She's, what does she smell like? Um, quite lovely, like um, baby powdery. I suspected. Yeah, I suspected like not cologne, not kind of. Oh no! no like no, too no. much. Like oh, here comes Oprah. But. Uh, <laughs> I suspect some kind of like wealthy, classy kind of smell. Yeah. Like friendly, like a friendly smell. Really? Like kind of yeah. baked cookies? No, like 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 um the sweetness of babies kind of the smell. The sweetness of babies? Yeah. I've got a ten day old baby in the house right now. <laughs> he doesn't smell that good at all. The you top of the head, the top of the head. Oh, the top smells, of the head yeah. smells Not the good, other yeah. Bit, oh, the other but, top of the head. but you know, you have to fight through a lot of different aromas to get to the top of the head. Do you? Uh, you've got you've got a child, haven't you? Yes, I do. Your daughter? Yes. What I age do. is she? She's five. Five. Oh, he's year past all that now. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. She's now sleeping, but she didn't, you know, sleep a lot when she was 
What are they yeah. doing? They do, they're yeah. not interested. Then there's no reasoning with them at all. No, I, no. Last night I was saying to him, you know, this is getting us nowhere. He's like, I'm rah! <laughs> like this isn't a debate. This isn't even a, a, a discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I feel your pain. It's, it's, are you going to have more? Well, I, I would love to. If God is willing to give a surprise, that would be nice. But... Well, you've you got to have sex. Well, yeah. You can't just hang around waiting. I mean, yeah. God, of course, will help you, but you have to well, participate. Trying, I mean, really. I'm trying to very gently say that I'm a little long in the tooth, maybe, to have another. No, no. You're, you what, so? you like 31? You're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 31. Well, there you are. Then. Hey. Have you ever um, uh, posted uh, topless pictures of yourself on the internet? Always, every day. Really? Yeah. No, I would never do. Would you ever do? No, no, no never no, in a million years. You I can barely get out of the house, much no. less, you know. I, what I think is, I just don't. Have you ever been on any of these Craigslist things or anything like that? I've never. No. no. It's you ever bought thing. anything from the internet? Uh, you know. Amazon, like a book or something. Right. Yeah. No, oh I've no, no! I did buy a few Buffy the Vampire Slayer like magnets. <laughs> I did. Why did you need them? I had a little crush on Spike, so I just wanted to have my own personal. I magnet. never watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, it's really Was good. It good? I, I mean, do you watch the new vampires? The you know the kind of twinky gay vampire. <laughs> well, once you you know have a child, it's not. Yeah, I know. But well, see, see, my you know I've got this certain rules about vampires. They can be gay or straight. I got no problem with that. But it's, it's more kind of a, I quite like them to suck blood. You know, I mean. It's, <laughs> Not just care about your feelings. I mean, that's, that's not a vampire. That's just a gay friend. You know, it's... Uh, yeah, that's just me. I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm very cranky. I'm that's sorry. all right. Yeah. That's all right. We're out of time. Uh, awkward pause or mouth organ? Mouth organ. Good. <laughs> Do you play? Because, you know, surprisingly, a, a, a very small amount of people actually play the mouth organ. And if you can play the mouth organ, you win the coveted gold mouth organ that we give no, away here. I, I, I don't know how to play a mouth organ, but I'm, I'm happy to try. Well, Do you know how to play? No. Let's go. <laughs> Can you go then? Oh, I can do this too? Yeah, yeah, well, you yeah, didn't just... even unwrap it for me. What well, I'll unwrap it for you if you want. Yeah, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Sorry, I, usually, uh, you know, I'm a bit nervous. All right. There you are, it's unwrapped okay, and uh, okay. never been touched. Hmm. Okay, can I ask a really silly question? Sure. Which side? <laughs> Feel your way. That's pretty good for a first timer. <laughs> All right, knock it off. Seven bills, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, listen, this is a very odd coincidence. I've just realized because, you know, we've been having uh, some, there's been a sort of Gallic French in, uh, influence on the show tonight. And, and uh, my next guest is, in fact, French. And every time he's here, he kind of annoys me. And, <laughs> and, uh, and I thought, oh, God, he's going to think I did this on purpose. I didn't do it on purpose. It just happened to be, you know, a French guy in the audience and a French girl who, you know, lives... Have, well, yeah, anyway, you were here! <laughs> anyway, my next guest is an educator and marine preservationist. He's the host of Ocean Adventures. He's a good friend of the show, but not of mine, personally. <laughs> very, 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 very lovely Jean-Michel Cousteau, everybody. Jean-Michel Cousteau. Sorry about all the French stuff. I did not do that on purpose. It was just it happened to. Sure. Oh come on, man. Sure. Look, it just uh, it, there was so. The, do you have you met? There's a French guy up there. Do you know him? No, I saw him. <laughs> There's 55 million of us. You know. Really, that many? Yeah. I find that rather alarming, Jean-Michel. 
That's a lot more than Scottish. Yeah, it's a lot more. It's 50 million more than Scottish. There's only 5 million Scottish people. Really? Yeah. I'm going to go there soon. Really? To Scotland? Yes. Yep. Why on earth would you do that? <laughs> They've invited me. Really? Are you going to yeah. study some marine life in are Scotland? You, are you allowed there? What, me? No, they're kind of angry at me, I think. <laughs> They've invited me. I'm really? going to Elgin. Elgin? Yeah. It's actually quite nice in Elgin. Yeah, in fact, I it's love very nice Elgin. in Elgin. It's beautiful. Place. Yeah. Well, are you going to is there a marine animal that's uh... No, I'm going to give a presentation. To a marine animal? <laughs> yeah. That's right, because I've learned from you, who is a great traveller, and last time I had the privilege of seeing you, you went diving with sharks. I did, I went to the Bahamas, remember? I, I said I was going to, and I went, and I did the dive with that, and the sharks were there. You were frightened. I was frightened, uh, yeah. Were leaving, and I told you not to be scared. Yeah. Not to be afraid, sharks are nice. And by the same token, I said that I had applied for your job. <laughs> Let me, say, let me say the same thing to you about Scotland. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Scottish people are nice. And uh, you'll be all right. They speak funny. They do speak funny, but funny. they're uh, and a bit like sharks in many respects. <laughs> do you know, there was one point, though, where you've been diving many times with sharks, right? These were Caribbean reef sharks. They're not particularly vicious. They're they were quite nice. tame, right? They're very nice. But there was a point when we were feeding them uh, when we were... And you're not supposed to do that. Nah, I know, I know, I know you're not supposed to do it. And I was, we, we were feeding them and there was a lot of them around and at a certain point I thought, this is actually dangerous. There's something that's going to go wrong here. And nothing did, but I thought that, that it, it might. Well, <laughs> now that you survived, mm. uh, I renew my invitation to go diving with you. I, w I would love to go diving with you, oh, but, but, the, but you, you go diving with the, the orca in, uh, in Fiji. That's, I can't go to there. I, look, look at me, man. I can't go there. Can't you take three days? I can't. Is it only three days to go to Fiji? No, we'll go right out here. What, here? Yeah. Well, what are we going, what are we going to dive with here in California? We'll dive in the kelp. You'll see kelp. some great white sharks. I don't want to see any great white sharks. What? <laughs> I want to see a great white... I've seen sharks. Thank you very much. They're lovely. A great white shark is not... Okay, we'll go where there's no great white sharks. I'll tell them to get out of there. <laughs> it's beautiful, the kelp. It's like being a bird in Sequoia Park. Yeah, but how do I know there's not a great white lurking? I'll talk to him. I don't... Look, I don't mean this in any way disrespectfully, but I don't in any way trust you. <laughs> saying I think that you might have some fun at my expense and your great white friends <laughs> told you I'm looking for your job oh, well. it's gonna look suspicious let's though. go diving we'll have all right fun. we'll go diving we'll, yeah all right we'll what, now tell me what are you most concerned about environmentally right now what's what's the well as you I'm sure you know like everybody else does the most dramatic environmental catastrophe other than wars has happened in the Gulf in of In the Mexico. Gulf, yes, of course. Uh, how, how is the cleanup going? Well, the cleanup will be going on for decades. Uh, you're talking about all kinds of situations where right now we don't see it, so we think, you know, everything is okay. Right. What about those turtles that have come and laid their eggs and people rightfully so went to recover the eggs because if the oil or the dispersant touch it, the embryo would die. Right. They bring it into their, into their lab. Mm -hmm. They let the turtles uh, being born, which right. is great. And then they take the baby turtles and bring it to the east coast of, of Florida in clean water. Right. And two years from now, some of these females will come back to lay their eggs exactly where they were born. Are they well, going to go in the lab? What's, well, they'll, they'll turn up at the lab? So, <laughs> excuse me. That's right. <laughs> I don't know if you remember me. <laughs> what about those dolphins who gave birth in the oil and the no, dispersion well, no, and no, are breath feeding then? them? What will happen? Uh, what will well, happen we, to these turtles? We don't will know. They, will... We want to find out. All right, okay. And that's why it's not over. I think it's going to go on for decades. Right. We want to know what's happening with the uh, reproduction of the fish that we are harvesting. Right. We want to know what's happening with the uh, the food chain, or the plankton, which is the foundation of anything alive in the ocean. So 
Our plan, other than having spent almost two months there and being right. the first one underwater, mm -hmm. uh, and one of my photographers had to escape because she was burning with the uh, the uh, oil on her skin. Really? Oh, yeah, it's horrible. Oh, good Lord. And uh, what's going to happen to this fisherman who lost his job? His, his brother works in the oil industry. Look at the cost to us of that catastrophe because... We pay for it at the pump. Right. You know, it's just being passed on to the consumers. Right. So what about the shareholders who didn't get their cut of the profit this year? They're pretty much. That's when you get some action. Yeah, when and rich most people of them start are losing British, money. By the yeah. way. They're British people? Yeah. Well, there's a problem. Well, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> there you are. Listen, are you, uh, are you still um, going out diving um, soon? Because I I uh, I want to I, I do want to come out. Yeah, I don't okay. want I don't want to go with the Great Whites though. No, we All won't right. do Great Whites. Okay. If you give us a few days, not much. Right. We if you don't have a lot of time, we can go nearby. How long have you been diving? It's over 65 years. Do we have that footage of uh, Jean-Michel diving? Well, can, can I see it? I haven't seen it. I I, I get talking about. It. I want to see. It. Can I? At what point, because I like the music very much in that, in that clip, at what point does the pizza delivery boy turn up? It's very porno, isn't it? Is it... Yeah, we're trying to get people's attention. And I, as you yeah. can tell, as you see these images, it was a long time ago. When so was our that? message hasn't changed. Yeah. It was about 15 years ago, 20 yeah. years ago. I mean, you can tell. Yeah, but I'm going to start dyeing my hair. What color? <laughs> White. Show me show, Gustavo. Our technology of past solutions has failed us. And this cleanup alone may cost upwards of nearly $200 billion. If you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059. Now, for all of you who are reassured that the cat was not eaten by the shark because the cat came back wearing a mask and went, meow, that was a different cat. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to your letters. Now, listen, we learned a lot on the show tonight. We, I, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about the, the problems in the Gulf from my, my old friend slash not friend, uh, Jean-Michel. I, uh, no, we learned about, you know, Beaver Creek, uh, and how it has the oldest strip club in America. We even learned that Chris Hilty, the sound man for this show, saw two hobos having sex in Santa Monica. Me, yeah. Yes. But what we never learned is why Jennifer Beals hit her boyfriend with the camera. doing this job for years. The first thing you should do is when someone announces something like that, you say, wait, 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 never mind about the project. Why did you hit your boyfriend with the damn camera? <laughs> but I didn't. And I think this is the beginning of the end. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. It's CBS. <laughs> They don't care. <laughs> no, everything's fine. Although I, I would like you to send me in your suggestions of what you, why you think Jennifer Beals hit her boyfriend with the camera. And the five best ones will win a photograph of an ostrich. <laughs> Can't say fairer than that. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>